Hey YouTube, so this is a quick video to show you how to put together a jar cannon build early on in the game. So the jar cannon, you get it in Volcano Cave uh, up in Mount Gelmir uh, to defeat the boss. And you need 23 strength, it says 34, but it's 23 because you two hand it and 12 decks. So a good starting class would be Hero or Vagabond. I've used Hero here. Um, it's upgraded to plus six using somber smithing stones. Uh, if you just run around the map, you can find those pretty easily. Um, by the way, everything to put the build together is coming up in this video and I've time stamped uh, where everything is. So this will show you where to get the six somber smithing stones and all the other stuff. Um, so to boost damage, we have arrow sting talisman. There's also Arrow's Reach, which boosts the range. Uh, there's the Ritual Sword Talisman, which gives you extra attack power when you've got full HP. Um, and then on my axe, I've got Golden Veil, Ash of War. That's another damage boost. And I can cast Flame Grant Me Strength. I don't have the stats for it on this build, but with the Flame Tear in my Wondrous Physic, I can. So if we uh, just take this guy out here, That's 759 on a plus six jar cannon without any buffs. So let's now pop our physic. Got golden vow. Playing grant me strength. Uh, let's just pop our talismans as well. Got to remember those. So we are from 759. So one, two, two, nine. So you know that's uh, you know nearly 500 extra damage, which is uh, pretty good. So the ammo we've got uh, there's regular ballista bolts and explosive great bolts. Uh, you can buy these from a vendor up in Mount Gelmir. Uh, we can craft uh, bone ballista bolts as well. Um, so there's a bell bearing that you you can find which will um, help you buy uh, hefty beast bones which you need to craft these uh, there's a there's a cookbook as well um, and there's a vendor much later in the game which will sell you lightning great bolts uh, but you can find a few of these uh, before uh, before the kind of the end game area so where the explosive great bolts and the lightning great bolts come in handy is you don't need to make a direct hit so See there, the explosion just sends that guy flying. Uh, so in, in invasions, for example, uh, you know if uh, that you've got a host or a phantoms, they're on a ledge, they're running across a big branch, whatever. You know you can use that to uh, to knock, knock them off. Um, and the weapon's pretty good for PVE as well, just because of the damage and the range that you've got. Um, so yeah, I really like it. Um, I've used it a lot on my my invasion builds. It's uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool weapon. So everything you need to put the build together, that's coming up. Timestamps are in the description. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Cheers.
Weisleys.